My name's Luke and I'm a member of the Snow and Rock Camel Hempster team. I'm here today to teach you how to do a 360 on skis. The first thing you need to know about doing a 360, okay, you need to check and make sure that the jump's clear, there's no one around you that's going to go and hit the jump and there's no one crashed underneath the landing. Obviously this is a big health and safety feature because you don't want to be wiping yourself out or anyone else out and ruining your night. Okay. Now you've checked that the jump's clear, there's no one around, you're free to go. What I want you to do is ride up to the jump, have your knees a little bit wider apart than the shoulders so you can get more spring. When you're coming up to the jump, what I want you to do is bend forwards on your knees. This helps set you ready for your pop. Okay, so you're coming up to the jump, you're bent forwards on your knees, you have your upper body reasonably straight, you don't want to be crouched over, that's going to set you off your axis, you don't want to do that. So you ride up, knees bent, and you want to face the way you're going to go. So when you actually take off of the jump, you want to have already done a 90 degree turn. So you're looking the way you want to go. You'll see a lot of people loading up for the jump, just for a 360, throwing the arms out from the side and launch themselves around. This isn't good, it will send you off your axis, doesn't look good, and it's not going to help you land. So you ride up, shoulder width apart, knees bent, pop, face the way you want to go. So you're always looking around. So the first thing that's going to come around is your head. You're going to be able to see your landing, you're going to be able to see where you want to be hitting, and you're going to know if you're going to make it or not. Hopefully you've popped high enough, you've done a free, a free run through it, so you know what the landing's like, you know how much time you have in the air, otherwise you're just going to hurt yourself. So once your head's all the way around, you're going to be turning. Look, you can see where you are once you've done a 180. You know where you're going to skis are going to land, and then you just need to let it follow around. Come up to the end, just make sure your shoulders are centered down the hill, so your shoulders are going to go where you're going to go, that will all follow your head. When you land, bend forwards on your knees again, so you absorb the compression, ride out, and hopefully it will look good. This is how to do a 360.